All right, what's going on everybody? Gaby Card Stacks here. I've got a good amount of sales and just a couple of incoming mail pieces here. So just gonna run through everything. Gonna start combining these videos now just because uh, then I have too many videos in a backlog. I wanna be a little bit more timely in my videos. So just gonna show you everything all in one. So I'm gonna start off with this KJ Jefferson Gold Bowman University. I bought this for about 15 bucks. He's one of the hotter quarterbacks, doesn't have a lot of cards, only in Bowman best and Inception, not in University. Uh, this one sold for $39 ship, so not bad there. I'd love to continue to buy him, but he's, I don't know how Arkansas is gonna be, and, and I just don't know, you know where his ceiling really is. This sale I'm not too thrilled about. I thought I was just overpriced on my Lava non-auto. I had it for 30, and I've just been trying to clear out some stuff I thought my non-auto was at 30. I thought this would have been at 50. I sent an offer to someone for $18 thinking, yeah, I'll let go of these non-autos. And then I went to go look and it was the auto. So kind of bummed that I sold this one. I wish I didn't send out that offer. I would have raised the price on this, but uh, yeah, that one stings a little bit. So not great. Uh, this one, Jim Kelly, gold to 17. Got this for about $10 or so. This one sold for, I think, $17. I had a lot of watchers to start and just sent out, I think like a $1 offer off or a $1 off offer and that got taken. Uh, another one that I wasn't super thrilled that sold. I probably could have held on to this a little bit longer. I threw out a bunch of offers again. I'm trying to liquidate. Now that I'm in Ryan's cards discord, uh, it's kind of changing my buying perspective a little bit. So I'm trying to kind of clear out of stuff, reset my inventory, kind of see what my cash balance is and then go from there. I sent out some offers on to everyone who was watching all my items. I had this listed for 80, it went for 70. I'm not thrilled, Xavier could have been someone that I could have held for the draft, but again, I guess profit is profit. I think I bought this for about 40 bucks. So I'll take it, keep the money moving and, and move it into something else. So along with, with the Discord, which I'll have a referral link down below as well uh, for you to join that Discord if you're interested. I've been selling, I've been more active on selling. So I went on Facebook actually, which I never do. I don't even have it on my phone anymore, but I've been trying to slim down my Bowman University as I'm trying to sell some of my lower end-ish stuff and upgrade my position and some other guys. That's where, you know, I'm starting to sell a little bit more online. So I posted this in a Bowman University group. Someone said they were working on a Denzel Burke rainbow and he didn't have an orange. So I reached out and I was like, hey, I've got the orange and uh, he had bought from me before i sold him the red shimmer he also wanted the gold i think we did 45 shipped for these not bad i literally just bought a gold for about six bucks the other day and i don't remember how much i paid for that but a nice little flip there trying to get out of denzel burke he's a little sketchy to me great freshman year meh sophomore year coming back this year aaron hernandez just the base rookie still this one for six guy took three days to pay so that was rather annoying but again glad and i'm paid i think i was buying those for like two bucks a piece of a couple months ago brock bowers is heating up i sold one for ten dollars when there were like some for like eight or nine the other day someone sent another ten dollar offer and i accepted it. i went to go look so I'm like, that's kind of weird i sold both bowers i didn't think that i was the cheapest i was the cheapest so seems like stuff is climbing for brock bowers i know he's gotten a lot of publicity over the last few days but was kind of shocked at that little trayvon walker number 230 this was a variation that I didn't know. I bought this with a pair, a the regular teal, which was numbered to like 75 or 99. I didn't know this one was numbered to 30. So I got a pretty good deal on it. I always get a good deal when I buy from John at the VIP sports card show. But this one, I think I had, I don't remember how much I sold it for. Maybe 46 bucks. I had it listed for 60. I was the only copy available. I think he sent 46. That was a very strong offer. So I decided to take that. I'm glad I'm getting out of that one. Again, been more active in trying to sell, posted that Bowman stuff to my Instagram. I had a guy reach out about Daquan Finn. I got this for my boy Cam for like two, three bucks. Number 99, nice little color match. I've got a couple gold autos, so I was fine getting rid of that one. And then a nice sale here, Nicole Hardman, Black Pandora Auto, number to 25. I picked this up with kind of the Jets hype. I, I liked him in Kansas City. I thought he could be a piece in New York with Rogers. So picked this up probably for about 35, 40 bucks. And someone, I list, relisted it for 80. Someone sent an offer for 72. I thought that was very strong. I probably would have accepted like 65 maybe, but um, yeah, that was a pretty good sale there. Again, trying to clear out a low end Bowman University. Someone sent an offer for five. I think I had it for like eight. Uh, just trying to move that. I'm well into the money on that lot. 
little Zion Spellbound. Got this for 50 cents. I think it sold for three. I was shocked that the, the Spellbound in NBA just doesn't sell as well as NFL. Or maybe I just have more people who are football uh, collectors on my eBay store. Basketball, non-football just doesn't sell for me. I probably also don't buy the right stuff, but nonetheless, last one here that I sold, Michael Meyer, Blue, Ray Wave. I got this, this was an absolute steal. So I have safe searches, that's how you find good deals. People always ask, how do you find good deals on eBay? Save searches, know what you're looking for. I had a, a Bowman save search. I don't know what this popped up under. I think it was another card that came up and then I went to their store, so like, wow, that looks pretty cheap. Saw this, I think it was like two bucks. Um, super cheap these usually go for 10 i listed mine for 15 i think i was the only one listed and i had thrown out offers for seven eight tried to kind of bulk sale this out finally sold for 15 so just uh, trust yourself and your prices a lot of times if, if you're going to be the cheapest copy of a card just hold on that uh, now so a little bit of mail here so incoming i remember what one of these is i don't know what these are so this is more Marvin Bagley. So this is my third Marvin Bagley I've picked up in probably the last two weeks, maybe. All gold, gold optic. Got that for like 10 bucks. I overpaid on the true gold prism of this, or no, true gold of like 2021, I think. And then got this for, I think, $17, I say. Maybe a little bit of an overpay again, but gold just doesn't pop up if you're going to pick a PC card and you want gold. You just need to buy it when, when the opportunity is there. So that was uh, my thought process there with Marvin Bagley. Um, this one, I think I know exactly what it is. I was going on Twitter one night and this post was like eight hours old, but it came up on my feed. And yes, this is it. Um, I just like green ice. Green ice is very short printed in Prism. I don't know what the, you know, what it could potentially be serial numbered. I'm sure there's somebody who's done the math on it, but I saw a green, anytime I see green ice, I always give it a little bit of pause just to, to think about it. And so they had this Barry Sanders green ice, not numbered, but these are super short printed for like seven or eight bucks shipped, maybe $9 shipped. And looked up comps, or looked, yeah, looked up comps. I don't think any had sold. Maybe there was one sold, but the cheapest was like $55, and there were a ton of watchers on it. So I just decided to go for it. Worst case, I'm gonna lose two, three bucks on fees, but I think, you know, this is something that could sell. So I don't know the, the scarcity of pre nice, but I figured I'd take the chance there. So that was what I knew. I don't know what this could be. And I remember getting the Marvin Bagley notification. A couple of, uh, went to my high school, Corona, for a year. Saving Lee and Dylan Terry as well. Odell did not go to my high school. Uh, okay, so, the, oh, this is also from Twitter. Okay, so I got this in a Twitter stack sale as well. I think this is all Bowman University. I don't remember how much I paid for this. Maybe like 35-ish dollars. I'll try to throw up the screenshot here, but picked up, uh, yeah, maybe $39 or so. Pick these J.J. McCarthy's up. I think this was like eight, this was like 10. J.J. McCarthy sells stupid well. Uh, Michigan preseason ranked number two in the country right now. Little Lava, number to 100. And then I think this is, uh, Xavier Hutch gold shimmy was like three bucks. You know, Iowa State guy, color match. Um, he's with Houston. Tank Dell is uh, getting all the love right now, but for three, four bucks getting a gold shimmer, that's, uh, that's a, a great deal. And then these, I think I could list these all for 20, 30 bucks. You know, and make my money back there. So that's what I've been picking up, I guess. I forgot about that package. I kind of been thinking about it. So that's my mail day, a little PC, and just hopefully some quick flips here. This one might not be super quick, but nonetheless, that's everything. And of course, that's everything that sold. So yeah, that's, uh, that's I think, how I'm going to be formatting my videos now, just combining them both. Um, just so that I, I'm like two weeks out. I kind of want to trim that down and keep it more relevant. So uh, anyways, if you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.